What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be doing Spider Gwen or Ghost Spider. So she's kind of, it's a pose sort of image. It's not just head and shoulders. So she's got his hood, her hood and her face coming down from the hood, okay? So I think it's best to kind of draw the hood line first. So I'm on landscape page. Definitely use a pencil and eraser for these. Sketch it out lightly first you know, erase mistakes and things like that, and then you can do your ink on top. So I def definitely recommend that method, okay, for drawings like this. <clears throat> so center point of my head page is about here, right? And we're just gonna, just gonna put the top line of our hood just here. So we'll go, and it's kind of a folding sort of thing. So it goes up this way first. And then we kind of change direction and then go down kind of along here. Okay, and this one curve down and go in here. And then this one will go. there so her head is in here so we're going to draw the head before we do the eyes right so chin we'll put the chin just down here right and then her head and jaw and stuff will come out both sides of this okay so we'll go up that way and this one might be a little bit wider on this side like that so we got this V sort of shape okay and then this will keep going up underneath into the hood right up into there and this one same thing right then her eyes so her eyes are done in kind of pink so there is a black line in the center and then there's like this pink makeup kind of stuff or like dust or powder um, around the eye, right? So we'll just do the main shape for the eye first. So starting sort of in the middle here. So say if her nose was, say here, we could just do a line for the nose, right? Roughly. And then just coming out from the top of the nose here, sort of in the middle of her face, we're gonna go Real big, up underneath the hood, and then curve around the other side here. Right, like that. And then the other side. Real long up under there. And then it'll go around this one's kind of skinnier i guess I'll just up into here right kind of like that and then she has this pink stuff around now it's it's not drawn in with black line right it's colored in but I will just lightly sort of draw in this bumpy sort of area just so we know where it is. And you can just change your color afterwards, right? And it goes around her cheek, just there, okay? So this is all pink, right? But we'll just draw it in just so we know where to stop at least when we get to this sort of outer edge okay like that and then she has a pink section inside right so we got inside the hood here and the webs are done in blue 
and the outside is pink, but I'll draw them in in black and change the color afterwards. So these lines are actually blue, just it's good to remember. Coming down to the edge there. cross lines for the web. These are blue. So the rest of her hood, right? So real big comes out from around here, right? Like so, goes up like this. Down the other side. So she's kind of swinging through the air, right? So she's two arms, one going that way, one going this way. So the main shape for her body, I guess, first, we'll go curving out and around for her chest. So a line there like that. And then her stomach sort of line will go that way or her rib cage. Right, and then her hip sort of goes off there. So the other side of her chest, so it'll go down. Around there, and then the side of her body. And she has these V's, these black sort of V's that come around her chest. Here, and one here. And this will go down there. And this down to here. So then, right, so her arm comes out from here, okay? So we've got like a shoulder line up here, down, and like a little bit of her trapezius in there. And then like her armpit, bicep comes out this way, and then forearm. And then the rest of her body just goes up underneath there and that's like armpit area and then she has a little bit of webbing just spikes just here and on her bicep as well collarbone sort of going that way and then maybe some more hood lines and then the rest of her arm, so comes out here, and then we have forearm bump down. This goes out and down. And then we have a hand here, right? And it's doing the Spider-Man sort of hand pose, right? So it's kind of tricky, so take your time, hit pause a lot with this. 
So we go out this way for the thumb and then that curves around. Goes back into the hand kind of there. And then this curves underneath. And then the thumb goes up there. We have the index finger sticking up here, so up. Comes around. Real exaggerated now, so real big. From there like that. And then up, down for a knuckle, up, down for another knuckle. And these are the two fingers that are sort of curved over, right? So one comes out, in, to there, and then around the inside, back into the hand there. And then this goes up, around, into there. Then you could have like a hand line just there. Next finger goes down, in, tucked in behind, and then like knuckle lines and stuff. That like a knuckle line here. And then the little finger sticking out this way, real sort of pointy sticking out. that way. She has another uh, bit of webbing just up there. We might actually do some webbing shooting off coming out of her hand maybe. Let's see. Where would it come out from? It should come out from her wrist. So Lightly going out that way. Like so. And then Sometimes they have these sort of circular sort of shapes coming around them just to sort of show it's got this webbing sort of thing going on. that okay so and then more webbing on the arm so coming down here the webbing is always the worst parts of drawing spider-man spider-man type characters anyway and again this is blue and pink inside the lines are actually blue these lines but I obviously can't do them in blue, so I can change them to blue afterwards when I'm coloring in Photoshop, so. Okay. Other arm going this way. So it comes out right from behind, flying out like this. Shoulder. Arm goes in that way. And then forearm. Picks up, down, real angled sort of features, sort of anatomy, right? 
into the spider verse kind of thing. And then this comes out, down for another webbing section. And then her forearm goes out, goes out, out for the wrist. So we're going that way. And then we'll add just some more sort of webbing lines here. So, and then, so our thumb sticks out here. And like so, and then, so this is kind of just doing a sort of a claw like hand, right? So it's going to go out this way. We can just see the index, the middle finger, and the ring finger. Can't see the pinky, it's behind the arm. So we'll go up here. Go around, down. Like that, and then the next one comes out here. So, and then the next one, from here, into here, maybe the top of that finger there like that, and then something else in there, and then maybe like a knuckle line going that way. So, okay, and then like thickening up some edge lines in drawings like this always sort of helps, you know, just makes the character stand out a little bit more, just differentiates the inside lines from the outside lines. You know, just make certain things stand out more, other things stand out less. Okay, but I think that'll do. That is how to draw a ghost. Spider or Spider Gwen from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.